Much like time continues to march on, Microsoft so continues their march to put Bing Chat everywhere they can possibly imagine putting it. We've already talked about Bing Chat in your web browser, Bing Chat in the official Bing app on your Android smartphone device, Bing Chat in the Microsoft Edge browser for your mobile device. And today we're going to talk about Bing Chat inside the Swift Key keyboard. That's right, the keyboard Microsoft makes themselves now has the Bing Chat functionality built right in to be accessed anywhere that you can open up your keyboard. Now to access this, you're going to want to go into the Google Play Store and search for Microsoft Swift Key Beta because it's not going to pop up in the regular app. And for whatever reason, the Swift Key app does not have its beta inside its own, like the standard app. You can't like click to join a beta down below like in a lot of apps. It is actually its own application. So you're going to want to install the beta version of Microsoft Swift Key. Go through this setup and make sure that you are signed in to your Microsoft account through that setup process. And at that point, anytime you access your keyboard, you should now see this handy little Bing button here on your brand new Bing board. And if you click on that, you'll see a couple of different options. You can do a Bing search. You can do a uh, you can actually change the tone. As you can see here, this will basically give you several different rewrites of what you just wrote in different tones with, you know, some might have emojis and things like that. And there are labels down there, polite, casual. This is kind of an interesting feature, kind of cool. And then of course there is the chat function, which will open up the full Bing chat experience right here in your keyboard where you're able to ask it all sorts of different questions. And then from there, you can actually copy that text directly. See the little copy text icon, just like that. And then you can go ahead and paste that text into the text field. I think it's fairly obvious how this implementation is probably going to be potentially more useful than having it just in the web browser because it is more ubiquitous and it's going to be great for text related things. And I think that really underlines how interesting this technology is going to be going forward because it can be useful in so many different ways that you can apply it in all these different applications. And it's the same technology, but where you apply it is actually going to radically change how you use the thing. Right. If it's in my keyboard, I might use it to help me kind of rewrite a text that I'm already going to be writing or to kind of come up with a way to to make something I, I want to say more succinct to kind of cut it down or to find sources all for text based things. However, when it's in my web browser, I'm frequently using it to condense long articles down to key takeaways or to do research, to look things up. I'll give you a really good example. There's a company that I was looking to collaborate with on a review and I was struggling to find a proper contact for their press. Typically companies will have basically a press or a PR collaboration email account to send to to make these sorts of things happen, right? And I couldn't find the contact. So I did a weird thing. I pulled up Bing Chat and I said, hey, can you find this for me? And guess what? It found a PR contact for me that I was unable to find through just Googling. And then of course you can click on a little button and see where I found it at. And it was something that was kind of buried and there it was. That's super, super useful. I'm not gonna be doing that with the implementation inside the keyboard, even though it's the same exact tech. And of course you could if you wanted to. And I think that's kind of like a big part of the beauty of this type of tool is that it is a tool that is useful for so many different things. You've seen several thumbnails on my videos of the, over the last couple of weeks where the backgrounds of the thumbnails were completely generated using Bing's chat services. It's really, really cool, guys. Now, you may have noticed I was demoing this on my Galaxy S23 Ultra and not on my Surface Duo or Duo 2, which is you know, usually my primary phone. And the reason for that is because for whatever reason, I just can't get this to actually work on my Duo 2. Whenever I pull up my keyboard, this is the Swift Key Beta. I'm signed in, I did the exact same thing. It's just not popping up like it did on my S23 Ultra. I installed the same keyboard and literally as I'm installing it, the Bing thing popped up. So I don't know exactly what is going on here. I, I really hope that they're not overlooking Duo in regard to this feature. That would be pretty strange if there were considering it is their own phone. But we do also have to consider the fact that Duo's version of SwiftKey is slightly modified because it has to do some weird things where it you know, slides over depending on what screen it's on. So it has been customized a little bit 
but hopefully that's not going to actually prevent it. I ran a poll and you can see here that very small amounts of people are claiming it is functioning on their Duo or Duo 2 where the majority of us are not. I'm going to assume that these people are being truthful. I would imagine it's a very small amount of people, but hopefully they are being truthful and it will pop up for the rest of us very soon as well. But it is odd that it is active on my account, but only on that one phone. It's not active on my Duo. So Take that for what it's worth here going forward. Guys, that's about all I got for you on this video. Let me know how you plan on using this, if at all, in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And if you want to save a lot of money on your cell phone bill, check out the link below for my partner, Mint Mobile. It's what I use. I've been using them for well over a year, coming up on two years now. I've saved a, like, a ridiculous amount of money with Mint Mobile. So check them out again. They are my channel partner. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.